How come three capacitors died in the Canadian hybrid industrial ceiling fan? Please argue that the fan enthusiasts were definitely wrong about this whole setup back in the summer when I started upgrading the fans. So let's continue discovering and explaining how three capacitors died, pay attention to the capacitor's voltage rating. The old capacitor from the Canadian Hybrid Industrial was actually a 300-volt capacitor. So why does that matter? The new high-valued capacitors only had a voltage rating of 250 volts. The higher the voltage rating on the capacitor, the more durable it is to withstand extreme loads. Considering that the capacitors I put in, the Canadian Hybrid Industrial, were less durable capacitors with lower ratings. Here is an example. We got a humongous 420-volt rated capacitor. And pay attention, when I put the 250-volt capacitors in parallel, it handled a 20F capacitance the same microfarad as the blocky large 420-rated capacitor I put in the Canadian Industrial, which didn't run well. So how come we got two 20UF capacitance with a bigger size and a stronger rating versus the parallel capacitors that had the same microfarad as the large capacitor? This is when the voltage rating comes in and the size difference. A bigger, stronger capacitor, the motor wouldn't be able to run properly but a smaller but still have the same microfarad in parallel was able to work better and run the motor faster. And so it's the size that matters and the rating, considering that those faded capacitors were basically less durable and it's under the manufacturers. Voltage rating is generally the reason why they died. And the motor is no joke. They are running a large 210x16 millimeter motor that will just draw so much current it won't handle it over time. And the motor itself, it's completely fine. It can still operate with a 10 and 20 IF capacitor pretty well, and the torque or the speed hasn't changed or gotten even noisier over time. And so since I test my fans, I learned so much about them. A fan enthusiast may have dozens of fans and do the same thing replacing capacitors or replacing motors. But if you're going to drive a ceiling fan to its limit, that's when a lot of people who never test their fans to the extreme like I do will make a whole bunch of different types of theories. They often lack the reality of what comes after when you do such thing to your appliances. There is a limit to everything you own, and that is true in every way. But if you know that your fan motor has the resilience and the size, show here about the enthusiast without extreme tests, come out and say, your motor is going to be cooked, but when the results come, they don't speak. But here is the Trice A153 by 18 millimeter motor handles literal two capacitors of six microfarads, and it still runs to this day since then, and I can do this for over a year, and I still won't have any problems with it. But will I encourage anyone to do this with their own fans? The answer is an absolute no. These are just extreme experiments, not a permanent recall. I'm doing this with high-quality motors. Something like this motor or that motor wouldn't handle those high-valued capacitors for very long.